So I was talking about a couple of not so well-known features of um, Couchsurfing, just like discussions, events, groups and how we can use them to find your own place or how we can use them to get um, well, some questions answered. So we're back now at the Explore page of Berlin. This is where you end up if you just go up here in the search bar, you look for a CD, I was looking for Berlin. This is what will show up. We went before here to localhost on this section left, um, so you already know about this one. Then here in the middle, you can meet travelers, that's what it says. Basically, you can find people there that are going on specific dates to Berlin, like in this case, or to any other city. It's pretty cool, so for example, if you live in a city and you want to invite somebody, you can go there, invite to somebody, and you can write to somebody, hey, you can come over to my place, or if you travel to Berlin, you want to meet somebody, you can go in there and see when there's somebody at what time there, and then you can you know, also make plans to meet up. Pretty cool thing. Then we have on the right side, Hangouts. It's something you can only use if you have a phone. It basically works like this, that you can say like, hey, I'm available to hang out, and people can message you. Um, basically, it works like this. I'm not going now deeply into this. I can just recommend you, if you want to try out, get the app on, on, on the phone. It's a really cool app, actually, it's for free. I have it on my phone, so um, if you want to get really into culture thing, also have the app. Then we have here events. Um, basically, just like Facebook events, so you can scroll through events that people have created on uh, Couchsurfing. I will talk more about this in a moment and how we can use it. Then we'll go scroll down into the favorites. There's something right now on better and um, beta stage. So actually, since I'm verified, I can view it. Probably you can't view this section. I don't use it usually. I never really f you know, met anybody who was really using this, um, this feature of Couchsurfing. Basically though, basically what you can do, you can um, just mention your favorite places to go and uh, then people can see it also and um, I don't usually use this one. So then we have discussions. This is where you can write something about yourself, like post like a, like a thread like in this in the city and um, it looks something like, like this. I'm just gonna give you like a little bit of an example. So somebody was posting about I think a project and then people can respond. I could also now write a response here and um, it's pretty cool, especially if you are like an artist, you're coming to the town, you want to promote something, like maybe a, a exhibition, post something in there about you, really cool thing. And then at the end, we have a Q and A. It, it's just like discussions, you could say, but narrowed down just to questions and answers. And um, but still you will actually find still a lot of people asking questions here in discussions and that's okay and then well this is more for like just asking and just for answering so if you have a question like hey what a nice place to go out in Berlin go in here ask locals a question and you'll definitely get a lot of responses okay but um, we'll go back to the events how can you use those events to find a place to stay so what I would do um, and it's what I've done a couple of times, works quite nicely. If I would arrive now in Berlin tonight, I would not go here through the, the, um, through the uh, list of events. I would check if there's something interesting, maybe this one portrays in, in Berlin. And what I would do if I would arrive on this day in the city, I would just write down like, hey guys, I would write here a comment, hey guys, I'm just coming to town. Does anybody want to host me of those people that are going to this event? Also something really cool actually, you go to the event, to this Couchsurfing event, you go maybe to this exhibition and then ask around there, hey, is anybody on Couchsurfing here? I found this event on Couchsurfing, can anybody offer me a place to stay? A pretty cool thing, that's what I use events actually a lot when you don't have a place to stay. I go to ask around people if I can stay at home. Next up is a feature that might not be so noticeable at first, but it can really make a big impact. Uh, these are the so-called groups. So you can just go up here into the search bar and you can also search for find groups. So this is putting Berlin in here. Let's see what will happen. And we find the different groups about Berlin. And first of all, first of all, why would I join those groups? So first of all, you can show your passion in there. So that there's a group for just people living in Berlin, maybe exchanging advice and they're quite active. They're really 
couple of groups really active and another groups that you can find a lot are those so-called emergency couch requests or SOS couch request groups where in this group when you actually have your one I believe Berlin emergency couch, shirt, uh, couch search basically in this group now if I arrive there in the city I don't have a host I could just write here in the group hey I'm coming today to your car uh, to, to Berlin who can host me and then um, this can really help you to get a place to stay if you post in like those groups in those emergency or SOS groups. Um, highly recommended. Highly recommended to check it out. And I have another example here is like Georgia. It's about a whole country. So if you want to know more about Georgia, maybe post in the hey, can you give me some advice where I can go so they can find people living in Georgia or like-minded people. Now something I almost forgot mentioning. There's also such thing as public trips. What is this? Basically, you can make a public post to the city that you're going there. So then hosts can invite you like this and also other travelers can find you in this way. Myself, sometimes I do it, not that much. When I use this function, I usually look for people that are coming to my city so I can write to them and invite them to my place. But when I travel, I don't use it so much. Anyway, I'm going to show you now how to make those public trips. It can be really useful. So back here on the dashboard and um, we just click here under my travel plans in this section. We click here on create a public trip. This window pops up and here we can enter now to what uh, location we're going. Let's just use an ex as an example Berlin and then we can put in here the dates when we're arriving. And um, finally, we can put in the trip description like, hey guys, I'm coming for a day to Berlin, something like this. And then at the end, you will click on create. So where does it show up? If somebody is going now here to the explore page of Berlin, so you, you remember up here an explore looking for Berlin, um, there's a section for upcoming visitors. You click here on meet travelers. And this is now where my public trip would show up if I would have written this one. And um, so how can this help you? Let's just say I would live in Berlin. I could look for here and just, and just like look for people that I could invite to my home. What I also use a lot for is when I'm traveling to a city, I can also message those people and, 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 I, and I can be like, hey, I'm also coming to the town. Maybe we can meet up. So it's a nice way of hosting people and also to, to meet other travelers and be hosted by hosts. Okay, that was it about um, the different uh, functions on Couchsurfing. If you have any more questions, if there's anything I didn't mention, please let me know. In the next section, we will talk about safety on Couchsurfing.